Yes, people, good morning. What are we saying? Today is currently the 23rd of November, which means it is the day before Crep City, London. And of course, we have been graced with what can only be described as a load of snow, which is not good, especially when your girlfriend drives a Vauxhall Adam and you're currently getting passenger princessed uh, all the way to Hull to pick up a van. So yeah, currently we're on our way to go and pick up the van uh, for the event tomorrow because we've got two tables, so we're gonna bring in quite a lot of stuff. Um, we've got my girlfriend's coming down in her car as well. I've got someone else helping me. So we've got two people as well as me at the table tomorrow, which is uh, good because London's meant to be absolutely crazy. But obviously, me being me, I've done absolutely zero prep so far. So I'm going to have to go and spend my entire day in the cold, horrible, big yellow storage with no light, no heating. I'm actually going to have to go and stand and buy a coat. I've also left my coat at home, hence I'm wearing this. And oh, and I went out <laughs> to buy this hoodie yesterday. I saw this, oh, this is nice. And then I got home, took the tags off and put it on and it was a sportswear hoodie. So it's really thin and I'm still really cold. So I'm about to go to town and buy a coat quickly because I don't know if I can spend all day in that big yellow storage. We're now in the van uh, an hour later and apparently we've got given a brand fucking new van, mate. How sick is that? Uh, not very. It does have car play though. This shit's nicer than my own car. Kind of depressing. I'm kind of not up like that. Right, my phone also doesn't have enough charge for this, so I need to try and find a phone charger. Then we're gonna get to fucking cracking on, mate. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. It shouldn't take more than a few hours to get everything packed up and ready, to be honest. Dead serious, we have already encountered a problem. How do I put this into reverse gear? Oh, I've just, never mind. I've literally just found that, right, okay, just ignore me. Okay, it's taking us to route home, past the outlet. So, we're gonna head into York outlet quickly on the way there. See if they've got anything decent for Crep City tomorrow. Oh my God, man, that was such a mission. Right, that took about an hour, but uh, so Nike was dead, just a 30% promo, nothing really decent to get in there. But Adidas, doing some crazy promo. Fucking 40% off if you buy two or more on top of the existing discount. Gazelle, indoors, men's, all, all of these are men's sizes by the way, all the women's stuff was trash. These are about 35 quid again, so I've got 65. I feel like all this stuff's gonna be good for prep seat as well. Uh, we also got these men's Speziales once again, same price. Actually, I think these are even a bit cheaper. These might have even been about £32 a pair, which is just ridiculous. And then finally, another pair of these indoor gazelles, but this time, blue and white colorway. So yeah, literally all of these shoes, £32 a pair. That's kind of crazy. I'm kind of up. So we're actually, there's a second out of this outlet we can hit on the way back to the, on the way back to the big yellow. Uh, and despite me not being prepared for crepe seat at all whatsoever, because I'm heavily autistic, I want to go to the other Adidas outlet and see if we can buy some stuff there. Um, luckily, we made it out of this outlet without uh, anyone abusing me for being a scalper or telling me to kill myself, which is always a positive. Um, so we're going to head to Castle. <laughs> Shit, Kurt. Yeah, we're going to head to Castleford Adidas outlet now uh, and see what's cooking there. Right, okay, we're at gaff number two. We're at Castleford. We need to quickly check in the Adidas here. I'm not even sure if I'm going to bother checking at night. I also actually look like I'm fucking fresh out of prison right now. Kind of embarrassing. But yeah, hopefully Adidas have got the same deal on uh, here in Castleford. Well, that's just fucking pathetic, isn't it? <laughs> What's even the point of that? Right, it's now 6.02 and we have finally got to the unit to do what I've been meaning to do all day, which is bag up, price the items, uh, get them in the back of the van, ready to be stolen overnight before we even get to Crep City. Um, let me show you my little outlet hall as well. I also went in Nike and bought like 25 pairs of shoes. I don't even know why I did that. Firstly, we're gonna need one of these bad boys. Come on. Watch out, oh fuck. So firstly we grab like eight pairs of these, they're called Aston Villa gazelles or some shit. They were, what's 40% or 59? No, do I. It's like, I think they were like 32 quid with cheddar. So sell them for 60 each, bosh. Um, they're kind of ugly, but the Aston Villa colorways apparently it's all the fucking football hooligans and local EDL, EDL members will be battling over them. Uh, I think I've already showed you these. Yeah, them, I've already showed you. Didn't get any more of them in the second out of that store. These, already showed you these, yep. <laughs> no, but I've already, I've already, babe, I've been vlogging all day. <laughs> already showed you them. Uh, fuck these. Gazelle indoor, oh, you know what? Who even fucking cares? Yeah, I think I have mentioned that um, I wasn't really meant to be seen out in public dressed like a I don't know, homeless person, Prison. prisoner, fucking uh, mental patient escapee. Right, they've just all fell out of the box, brilliant. This is all shit for my flat that needs to go. Sports Direct bags, we bought eight more. Least joyful, joy, joyful 32 pounds I've ever spent. Uh, so from the outlet, we got five pairs of these. These are actually quite nice. Do you reckon my dad would want a pair of these? No. 
They're pink foams. Air Max 90s. I think they'll do well. They were £62 each. Are these pink foams? Yeah, they are. I think. Once again, in case it wasn't abundantly clear, I don't fucking care either. We got five pairs of these women's Pegasus Trail 5s. They literally just came out. Latte ones. £42 a pair. Brand new field box. Can't really go wrong with that. Actually quite nice. Oh yeah, we got some dunks as well. We got like four of these. They were £24 each. That's my haul. Um, about 70 pairs from the outlet. What a fucking waste of time. Don't know why I buy all this shit. I keep sounding this buy less shit. And now we somehow have to try and organise all of this into bags in the fucking dark because apparently paying £515 a month for a storage unit the space of... I don't fucking know. What's this the space of? Postage stamp. Postage stamp. It's just not that funny, is it? I don't know. It's a small unit. You don't get fucking electricity included, which is just fantastic and honestly makes me feel really happy and positive about the whole situation. First port of call is to organise all this sh Actually, I've already got shit in here that needs organising. Oh. So I'll show you the prices we've got going on. Basically, Leah asks me what the price is. I tell her. She writes down the prices and sizes we've got. Then load them up into the bags, load them onto this trolley, load them up into the van. Pretty simple. Okay, this is the second trolley's worth, as you can see. Um, the van, we're about to reevaluate the van situation. I've realised I've left a lot of these sports direct bags in my car. And I kind of need them. So, we might have to drive to the car and then back to the storage unit. Which, when I tell Leah that, she might break up with me. Uh, how many bags? One, two, three, four, five, six. Twelve bags so far. 144 pairs bringing with us so far. Um, I reckon we could squeeze about 200 in the van total. Okay, this is the van situation. Um, there's loads more room, but the bags are kind of awkwardly sized, so I can't really get any more here. No, I'm not going to fit here, but there's loads of room, so I think we actually might just have to put a load of loose pairs in, which I don't really want to do, but um, for the sake of bringing more stuff, I think we have to do it. Okay, so the situation now is we've filled just this up with just shoes rather than bags. Just gonna try and squeeze as many in here as possible. Then call it a day, basically. I'm not having fun. I'm really not enjoying myself. Okay, it's looking pretty full right now. I feel like we could get more in. Maybe I should just leave it now. Pretty much got everything I want in there. I think I might just leave it at this. You know what? Fuck it. AJU sneakers versus hydraulic press. AJU sneakers versus bullet train 4K HD. AJU sneakers versus firing squad full metal jacket rounds. Why the fuck is she part like that? Really quite desperately want to kill myself right now. Really quite desperately. I actually can't drive. I need to retake my fucking test. It's half five right now. It says we're about three hours and 10 minutes away. So I'm about to go slam a monster or three. Um, hopefully not pass out on the drive down there. And yeah, van wasn't smashed into overnight. We can only praise God for that. Right, so we're pretty much set up now, but the problem is I didn't, not that I didn't bring enough stuff. I brought too much stuff. So this car, this stuff just doesn't fit in there. I've been absolutely shafted. I've been shafted for space. I've literally got no storage space behind my fucking table. And I've also been given a parking ticket. Like, what's the fucking point, man? So respectfully, that van's getting left there all day. I'm not paying for fucking parking again. The table's not quite finished, but like, we really are struggling for space. I've got Sam next to me. So I'm kind of arguing with him over uh, where I can put my stuff. So like, the table's pretty full already, but like we still got loads more stuff to go out and this is my room i have behind for storage like where the hell am i meant to put everything you can put some stuff under the table but like, if you put everything under the table how are you meant to find anything so we've had to rob some of sam's space table is set up so we've got it's not really in any or distinct order right now i feel like it might need reorganizing can't just put stuff out i kind of don't really care um but we got a few sort of heat bits i guess i don't really do heat i normally just sell shit at these events a few pairs of travs amma mania fours cinnamon i5s uh whatever the fuck they are uh loads of dunks jordans uh these jordan one highs are both cheap as fuck um loads of dunks as always few air maxes not as many air maxes as normal um quite a few vomeros this time around and a load of adidas but because it's the tables are set up like this like it's a bit techy because everything's a bit far away these are cool i don't even know why i bought these i bought these on whatnot maybe this should be at the front uh yeah loads of p6000s this hopefully all this out of that shit sells because i always think it's going to sell and it never fucking does we'll go have a rearrange and then go harass some other sellers for now right we're going to go around now and harass some of the sellers that i actually know um i'll harass sam in a bit he seems very busy jp's always got a big stand man like what are you saying brought jonesy with him what are you saying man you good eat table man I'm just not plugged in like this guy. Saying you good? Yeah, not too bad. Good? Yeah, not too bad. You got anything I interesting? Palace, 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 Palace. Yeah. Palace. I don't think I don't think I've got the XP to be rocking any of this. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not I'm not a fashionable guy, I'm not gonna lie to you. These are nice actually to be fair. 
Them ones. The Noxa ones. Underrated. Skepta football boots, is yeah. it? Yeah. They're quite sick, innit? They are quite cool. Are these used or new? I don't know. Jesus. They must have cost a few quid. How much are you selling them for? 200. That's, tell you what, that's not even too bad actually, is it, for a pair of football boots? These are a bit of you, I reckon. Well, they're leaving Crocs. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't Percy these. <laughs> right, okay. Kind of got sidetracked. Kind of didn't look around all the tables. Kind of spent a lot of time talking to Kai. This is the event. Kind of huge. I think people start coming in in about two minutes time, so I've got to go down to the table. Yeah, it's quite busy to be fair. Hopefully, when I go down there, we're going to make some sales pretty quickly, but there's loads of people here. There's a lot more sellers than there was last year, so I don't know if that'll affect it really, but we'll just have to see. Uh, feeling optimistic, so yeah, see what's going to happen. Right, we're currently about an hour and 15 minutes in, and it's kind of going off. We've sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve pairs. Two Air Max Plus. Uh, one of the Midnight Navy Dormal Highs, two Travis, thank God, um, some yellow and white Jordan 4, some Dunks, some Vomeros, the Vomeros are moving really well. Um, total profit so far is looking at like 25, 60, 110, 185, 370 so far, so nearly all my costs are covered so far, so everything after this should be profit, but hopefully it keeps picking up. We've got Jonesy here, how many pints in are you? Three. Three pints in, so he's looking to break the record once again, but yeah, it's going good so far. It's now 3.22, we are on so far. Sales still coming in pretty hot, 4,300 revenue, 31 sales, and before any costs, like 935 profit which is all right the problem is it's quite an expensive day out um but i'll go through the whole costs profits and all that stuff at the end of the video we've also bought a few bits i've had oh my god there are so many kids here that are coming and doing this fucking trade-up bullshit i've been conned i've been conned by some 11 year old kid into buying a used fucking sneaker candle for a fiver what am i gonna do with that fuck off these, why do I now have these? I don't know. But And a sneaker cleaning kit, which I'm almost certain they got given for free around the corner. I uh, paid a tenner for. But we also have bought some good stuff. We bought uh, these Jordan 3, um, whatever the fuck they're called, size 10, brand new. Another pair, which I've already sold for 150. These sell for like 200 on eBay. And then a Jordan 1 High, which again, I don't know where the fuck that is. Start there. We paid 275 for all three. Sold the red one for 150. That will sell for 200. The other Jordan one will sell for like 40, 50. Nice little deal. We also picked up some kids, right? You may be not able to not be able to tell from the videos. These Cortez 95s, size seven. They're soaking wet and they are grass clotted. Like they're actually ruined. The kid was like, they're soaking. The kid was like, oh yeah, I've been wearing them for school shoes. I was trying to dry them last night. Bro, fill them. They were 50 quid, so, I mean, that's like free money. It's about time that I extort the kids rather than the kids extort me. And because he did me a nice price on them, we picked up these for 35, which is like, it's all right price, I suppose. Get 50, 60 for them. <laughs> Look at this guy. That is not a man that looks happy to be alive. Kai. There's no way he's got a fucking liquid death. That's insane. As a man from the north of England drinking a liquid death, that's insane behaviour. Time flip for a, for a free month in the, in the Discord. Yeah, sure, fuck it, let's run it. Have you got a coin? I don't know if the camera, I don't know if the mic picked it up. He wants to do a coin. You're with uh, Robbie, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he wants to do a coin flip for a free month in the Discord. So, you flip it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Heads. You can have it. I'll give you one anyway. Sure? Yeah, yeah, message me on Instagram. That's not going to reply. Right, we're now packing up. Uh, pretty much done for the day. I think we sold just over 40 pairs. Everyone else is leaving as well. There's Sam, he looks happy as ever. Um, there's Jonesy. What's the verdict? Seven or eight? Seven or eight, He's keeping it, Lemon. Oh, you only did seven or eight? 
You should have gone for ten, at least. I could easily put out double digits. He was just like, didn't want it. Didn't want it. Didn't want it. We haven't bought any shoes as well, so that's always a W. Not yet. Not yet. Well, I'm not going to. I, got, I had a quick reality check for my girlfriend. She basically called me a brokey. Um, yeah. Now we just got to pack up and then drive four hours home to Leeds. Doesn't have to sound exciting. Also, shout out to Wembley Council for the parking ticket. This meant that we could just park right outside the venue for the entire day with zero repercussions. And it was actually cheaper than parking in the multi-story for the whole day anyway. So big up to the parking order for that. Thank you. 6.06, I'm going fucking home. 10 p.m., we're all packed away. Well, by packed away, I mean I've thrown it into the storage unit as quickly as I possibly could. And I will probably have to commit violent suicide in the morning tomorrow when I realize I've got to sort all of that out. Um, get the fuck out of it. Okay, so it's now the day after, the end of the day after, I've now packed everything away. The unit is now all organized once again. So let me run you through the exact stats. Now, costs. To actually get the table itself, to start off with, that is 200 pounds. Then to rent out a van for the two days, it was a total of about 190 pounds, which is absolutely absurd, but van rentals when you're under 25, just take the piss. I had two people come and help. One was my girlfriend, who I'm very fortunate I didn't have to directly pay her for that. Uh, and then my girlfriend's friend, I gave her a couple pairs of dunks for the day, uh, which is very nice of her, which probably cost me about £75. Fuel, probably did about 100 in fuel. That's what we on now, Three, four ninety. fucking hell. Food on the day will be 30 the parking ticket was 65 Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that's it. So, in total, that takes it to, bloody hell, £660. A lot of people don't understand, these events aren't like a cheap day out. To actually go and sell at one of these events, it's expensive. I know a lot of the pairs I sell, I sell at very fair prices, that's kind of my thing. But when you see people at these events taxing, just know that it's not free. And to be honest with you, that's cheap. Some of the guys that I was speaking to, Yorkshire trainers, uh, my buddy from Huddersfield, he said for him to come for the day, it cost him like £1,500, which is crazy you know what it is right for me even if i don't make that much money i enjoy going to these events i enjoy speaking to people chatting to all the people i know you know it's a fun day out ultimately you can clear a lot of stock get a lot of cash back in total revenue for the event so i think there might be one or two that i've missed out from this list but it is around including uh, as well at the end of the event i'm not sure if i caught them caught it on camera i sold about seven or eight pairs business to business to just to other buyers uh, a little bulk deal just to get rid of some more stuff while i was there just because you know why not do you know what I mean? Fuck it. Uh, so aside from that we did a total of one two three four five six seven thirty eight sales uh just literally just to customers uh, with a total revenue of about four three, well, about four thousand seven hundred pounds, including the bulk deals, takes up to about five five. Total profit would in fact be about twelve hundred and fifty to thirteen hundred pounds profit on sales. So after all that costs, that takes the profit to the for the day to about so we're at thirteen hundred minus six hundred and sixty. It's about six hundred and forty pound. Which you know what for a day's work, well more like a day and a half of the setting up and putting stuff back. It's all right, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not, it's, it, it, you know, £640 for a day sounds crazy, but you do also have to look at it from the perspective of, you know, some of the stock that I sold there, I would still sell it if I'm not a crep city, do you know what I mean? But, you know, in a day, you can't complain. And then not only uh, were we selling stuff, we also bought a few pairs there. Um, I'm not sure how much they were caught on camera, but I bought a bundle of some Jordan 3s and a Jordan 1 high off someone for 275. I sold one of them on the day for 150, one of them selling on eBay for 200, get 50, 60 for the other one. So we're doing about 140 pound profit from that. Uh, and then we also bought some Cortez Air Maxes for 50 pound, which is kind of an outrageous deal. They were beat to shit, but for 50 quid Cortez Air Maxes, you can't really argue with that uh we'll probably make another hundred on that so all in all total profit for the day was about 900 pounds um so yeah I'm, I'm i'm happy with that like i said i enjoy doing the events the profit is a bit of a bonus also got to speak to a lot of people it you know who knew me from the videos resellers paradise uh 
all of that kind of stuff. So big ups to anyone who came up and spoke to me. Um, and obviously, and you know what is really weird? I, a lot of people at these Crep City events come up to me like, oh yeah, I watched your Crep City YouTube video, which I don't know, it's kind of weird. I didn't realize people actually like watch YouTube videos like that. I don't know, it's, 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 it's weird when you see people in person. Thank you so much to anyone who's bought from me. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. As always, you don't even understand. Like I'm, The YouTube thing, I'm pushing so much more now. We're going to be focus on so much more now i've got a full editor on the job a very good one at that we're aiming to get three to five videos out a week i say a lot of stuff i don't know if it'll happen hopefully it happens um we'll, we'll, you'll soon find out guys if you haven't already please drop a like drop a subscribe yeah drop a comment it, it helps more than genuinely it helps more than you can imagine okay it really does uh, it helps me get more videos out more content for you guys um yeah so if this video has inspired you in any way shape or form if you don't already know i own resellers paradise a reselling discord group uh, it can help literally anyone make more money or even just get into reselling um it's honestly it's been such a crazy project i couldn't have it could not have gone any better genuinely uh and all the members inside seem super super happy with how they're getting on get access to our vintage monitor vintage also buyer profitable sneak releases brick flips low-key collector electronic flips 40 page outlook guide a lot of the stock that i was selling at the events today was from the outlet uh one-to-one -one support ticket reselling much much more if this video has inspired you in any way shape or form that is the place to start. I'm going to leave a link to join down in the description. And if you want a little discount, use the code YouTube. That'll get you £5 off your first month. Cancel it for free at any time. It's no bullshit. I'm not... If you, if you know me, you watch my videos, you know I'm not trying to bullshit anyone. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And hopefully I'll see you again very soon. Safe.